Northville, Michigan, my favorite of all of the Vils. If you've ever wondered why people love living in Northville, because they do, they really, really love Northville, people who live there. If you've ever wondered why they love living there, stay tuned because that's what this video is all about. We're talking everything from a tuberculosis town to a brewery with food trucks. And we're starting now. We'll start with the downtown, downtown Northville, DTN. That's what no one, no one calls it DTN. You could though, you call it DTN. I'll, I'll be down with that. Downtown Northville is basically exactly what you think of when you think of like a cool downtown area. It's filled with all sorts of shops and you know, shopping, food, things like that. It's, it's like the perfect downtown. No shortage of things to do and places to eat in DTN. And there's tons of free parking, which is always a plus. I guess the con to that would be there's no mall in Northville, but you have DTN or downtown Northville, so it kind of makes up for it, right? Next, we have the location of Northville. Northville, Michigan is in both Wayne and Oakland County, so you know, depending on where you live, you're gonna be in one of those two counties. I think it might be the only place that's located in both Wayne and Oakland County. So Northville is only 33 minutes away from downtown Detroit. So if you work downtown, or maybe you just work from home now, but if you work downtown, 33 minutes. It's actually only three more minutes if you just wanna to go to Canada. So three more minutes and you could be loading up on poutine and, and Tim Hortons. If you don't know what poutine is over in Canada, they put like gravy on fries. I don't know, it's not really my thing, but a few minutes away, it could be all yours. That and coffee. And the city of Northville is only 25 minutes from DTW. That's the airport, if you're not from around here. Can someone please explain to me how DTW stands for the Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport. That's not DTW, that doesn't make any sense at all. If you know, drop it in the comments below, because I wanna know. Another reason why people love living in Northville are all of the restaurants. Do you like food? I love food and stuff. The answer is yes. The answer is always yes to that. I don't care who you are, you love food. It's how you survive. There are so many good restaurants in Northville. You've got the garage, you've got Deadwood, Table Five, Lucy and the Wolf, Guernsey's, Gennetti's Hole in the Wall. If you're not familiar with the area, Gennetti's Hole in the Wall, it's like an Italian dinner theater. Actually, that's exactly what it is. They'll serve you a seven course meal, and then you go over to the theater and you watch a little, you know, theater action. It opened up in 1971 as a meat and grocery store, and they literally knocked a hole in the wall, and that's how they got Gennetti's Hole in the Wall. Makes sense, right? The only downfall to having so many restaurants around is when you know you or somebody else says what do you want to eat and no one can decide you just have so many options it's sort of over overwhelming at times you know what happens because this that conversation i think happens in every household especially when you have kids and no one can decide what they want to eat but i guess it's a good date spot if you want to go out on a date downtown northville dtn another reason why people love living in northville are all of the things to do you've got Mill Race Village, which is like, sort of like Greenfield Village. It's a living museum of restored 19th century buildings. You can take a self-guided tour of Mill Race Village and there's even an app so you can just download it, just sort of like, you know, walk along and like, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? And you, you just find it. You've got Parmenter's Cider Mill. They have some of the best cider around and donuts, like really good donuts, a lot of bees. But I think that's with every cider mill. Ton of bees. You can sit on that little wooden train they've got. They've got this little wooden train and just swarm by the bees, but enjoying your cider. And you can go right through the parking lot over to the brewery. It's a it's a winery and brewery, and they have food truck nights, so you can just be hanging out, drinking your drinking your wine and your beer, listening to some live music. They do live music too eating at food trucks. They have a link to all of the food trucks that'll be there and all the live music on their website. So I'll go ahead and link that below so that if you're ever, you know, if you're just curious, you can check it out. There's also Mayberry State Park. It's 944 acres of walking trails and woodland. And you can bring your dogs and you can ride your bike too. You can't do that at parks like Heritage Park in Farmington Hills. Fun fact about Mayberry, it was originally a quarantine town uh, for tuberculosis patients. So all of those walking paths and things were actually walking paths so that the patients could sort of like walk around in nature and, 
enjoy a hike while they're recovering from TB. And another reason why people love living in Northville is the real estate in Northville. You know I had to talk about the real estate? If you're looking for a really nice house in a really great city, Northville is perfect. There's a ton of homes and home styles all throughout Northville. You've got everything from 50s starter homes all the way up to multi-million dollar estates. You know, if you're like super fancy, and then you need for sure call me. The only drawback to that is it's not cheap to live in Northville. The average home price in Northville is $424,700. Very specific, that's a very specific number. To put that into perspective, the average home price in Michigan is about $151,000, and the average home price in the United States is about $231,000. So Northville being at $424-ish, that's expensive. It's a pricey place to live. The good news to that is, is your value is likely to stay high and it's, it's just, it just seems to just keep going up. Actually, the cheapest home that sold in Northville over the past year was $175,000. That's the cheapest home that sold and it was only 800 square feet and it didn't have a basement or a garage. Can you imagine paying $175,000? You could go to Livonia and pay 200,000 and you can have all of the things, basement, garage, but it's not in Northville and you don't have a downtown. I've, I made a whole video about Livonia around here somewhere. So what do you think? Did I miss anything about Northville that you would have included in this video? If you do, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Let me know, I'd love to hear it. And if you're still here hanging out, check out some of these other videos and playlists around and I'll see you next time.